Assalamu alaikum. My name is Adla Shirin and I am here to talk about tools of communication. We know information and communication technologies and specifically e-learning are essential in these days uh, for several reasons like political, sociological and economic reasons and it marked a crossroad in the current learning and communication paradigms. So, I am here to talk about some of the communication tools that is ICT tools and I am starting with Twitter. We know Twitter is an online social media and social networking company. Uh, it's operated by an American company which uh, on which users send and respond uh, publicly or privately texts, images and videos known as tweets and registered users can tweet like retweet tweet and direct messages that is dm while unregistered users only have the ability to view public tweets next one is skype you know skype is um, a telecommunication application operated by skype technologies and it's a division of microsoft uh, company voice calls and it has also has instant messaging file transfer and debit based to calls to landline and mobile telephones and other features this is about skype and next familiar one is you know slide shares SlideShare is an American hosting service that is now owned by Script. Uh, we use this for professional content including presentation, infographics, documents and videos. Uh, users can upload files privately or publicly in uh, formats like PowerPoint, Word, PDF or open uh, document format. Next one is Dropbox. What is Dropbox? Uh, you know that Dropbox is used for a home. It's a home for all your works. You can store and share files, collaborate on projects and bring your best ideas to life. Whether you are working alone or with colleagues and clients, you can use Dropbox like uh, all your files are backed up to the clouds and are available online like any time. Next one is Deco app. Many of you have heard about this. Deco is a social bookmarking and annotation tool that allows individual and group of people to highlight content and add comments to the website. Any annotated items can then be uploaded and organized in an outlining document. This is all about the Go app. Next one is Delicious. Delicious is a social bookmarking web service for storing, sharing, discovering web bookmarks. And this site was founded by Joshua Sancho and Peter Gadko in 2003. And it's acquired by Yahoo. Of course, you are all about heard about Yahoo before. Next one is the familiar one that is Facebook. Facebook is a website which allows users who sign up for free profile to connect with friends, work colleagues, or people they don't know online. It allows users to share pictures, music, videos, and articles, and their own thoughts, opinions, with however many people they like. We know about browsers, Firefox, Chrome, this is all about browsers. So what is browser? A browser is an application program that provides a way to look at and interact with all information on the world wide web and this includes web pages, videos and images, everything. So this is all about tools of communication and I'm so here discussed about some of the tools of communication i hope it's clear to you all
Assalamu alaikum. My name is Adla. I hope it's clear. And, clear and thank you for listening. To and special thanks to Pasha Sahib for this you know, special information and communication technologies. And 